So this is a response to Julian's video on your fair warning regarding Agent of Doubt. And to my knowledge, on the latest refresh, just refresh it again, still it's unlisted. And uh, he said if I told him he could make it public, or I made a video response to it, he'd make it public. Um, kudos for accusing me of intellectual bullying uh, for telling you what I'm going to do if you make a certain argument. And then uh, giving me the conditions for which you will make this thing public. I guess you were giving me the chance to uh, apologize for something I've, I've said and... and have you not make this video public? Um, fuck that. Um, and as for the end of your video, you want to keep this drama free, well, we're in the drama zone now, I guess. So, you know, I really felt like by telling people exactly what I don't want to hear, you know, the things that will set me off, I really felt like I was trying to keep this out of the drama zone. That's the irony here, you know? It's like, if you can avoid doing all these things that are going to piss me off, and I've shown you why they piss me off, then I don't see any problem with you continuing, you know, just with the civil discourse. I really don't. But, I'm going to tell you why I'm so heated, because apparently in your video you still don't get it. As an atheist for my whole life, and experiencing all of the uh, discrimination that you can get from being an out atheist who won't lie about it, I have lost jobs, friends, family members, you name it, right? And a lot of times, I get people who will treat me as if they have some form of reasoning that should be self-evident, you know? This should be, you know, common knowledge that God exists, you know? You're just lying to yourself, or or you just want to sin, or, or all these other things, you know? Why can't you see what is so simple to see? That's what I get from a lot of people. And, uh... So when I get into a discussion like this, where people are telling me that I'm relying too much on empiricism and that there's some other form of reasoning that is just as good or better than empiricism, and I should be able to see it, it's so fucking obvious. When I, when I hear this from people, it brings back all of these memories, you know, and all of this feeling. It's fucking wrong. You know, it happens all the time. I'm not alone here. I'm probably going to get up thumbs on this video because people feel this way. A lot. Um, if you're going to say that it's self-evident and then not give me why or a good reason why, I get left thinking that the Emperor has no clothes and I'm the little boy who has the, the fucking cojones to say it and everybody else in the world is just pretending just to get along just so that they're in the in crowd and me for being truthful I'm the one that has to live with this discrimination so when I when I tell you how close these arguments are getting to all of that and when I tell you exactly how I think this is going and what I, what I feel like doing when I hear these arguments, I'm trying to keep this civil. You know? You don't see it that way. You see it like I'm intellectually bullying or something. No. Um, I guess the only other thing I want to say in this video is that uh, my recent raw feelings about this are not all Julian's fault. I've I've been getting it from a few different people. And yeah, that's about it.
fuck me because there is actually something else I wanted to say here, and now I'm going to have to splice the videos together. Um, it has to do with my motivation for talking to Julian and a lot of others on YouTube about these things. Um, there is a very small possibility that they're going to give me some good reason that they hold their belief in the existence of a god. And there's a, a small possibility that they're going to give me reason to adopt that belief. I recognize that, but there is a fucking huge possibility that they're going to say something that I've heard before, and that the conversation is going to come to a point where it's basically... My argument should be self-evident, and if you're still not getting it, then you're intellectually dishonest. You're just lying because, you know, you want to keep your position. You you want to keep sinning, you know. Um, the, the same sort of reasoning that has led to um, a lot of atheists feeling very oppressed and, and not able to come out of the closet, like I have. Um... You know, it's it's the, the line of reasoning that makes atheists the most hated people in America for no good reason. And when the when the conversation goes to that, what should my response be? Should I just end the conversation when I see it get there? Or should I try to let the people know exactly where they've gone wrong? Should I not reflect all of the emotion that comes with being hit with these things for an entire lifetime? Or should I be really persuasive and show just exactly how bad it is that they push this belief on people that, you know, they should immediately see the, the truth in what they're saying when... It, it's not persuasive at all, you know? Personally, what motivates me to stay in this conversation is the small chance that I'm going to learn something and accept the possibility of God. And the, the very large chance that I'm going to get a chance to unload on someone when I see exactly where they're going wrong and how it's been hurting people for a long time, including me, you know. And so, yeah, this discourse for me stays civil when I still see the carrot of that possibility, you know. But as soon as that's gone, as soon as I see that there's nothing persuasive about someone's argument the only thing keeping me in these conversations on YouTube is unloading on people and that that's just the honest me you know I've got a lot to unload and if telling you exactly how I'm going to do it beforehand is something that you see as a threat um or intellectual bullying I, I, I just wish that you you could feel how you know I'm trying to avoid all that you know I'm trying to keep that carrot in sight but uh, in most instances um, it just keeps disappearing and, you know, you get what you get. <laughs>